right, we are live. Yay. Sasha Dobson, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us in the studio today. My pleasure. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this first song you're going to play for us? This is a song uh, from my first, or my last full-length record, mm -hmm. um, which is called Aquarius, and this is called Couldn't Let You Go. Cool. And this is Daria Grace. <laughs> welcome. Hello. <laughs> sort of a musical family um, and I was wondering you know when growing up was it always sort of a given that you would eventually go into music or did you how did you kind of come into it on your own yep <laughs> is yep yeah I mean I think my dad especially uh, you know, pushed us to get into other things mm -hmm. and fortunately we my brother and I who's also a full-time musician mm -hmm. a great multi-instrumentalist um, uh, you know, we idolized our parents and, mm -hmm. and enjoyed their company. Yeah. And so, oh, I'm sorry. And so naturally, you know, uh, we wanted to do what they did. 
-hmm. And I think especially my dad was hoping that somehow it'd fall into some other path because it's such a tough path. Yeah. Even if you even if you make it, it's you know, it's a, it's a totally different thing. You're really going against. Um, the community, you know, what Societal most society, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, <laughs> nerd <laughs> alert. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Daria Cray speaks. <laughs> yeah, societal norms. Mm -hmm. Not exactly the words I was used, but exactly <laughs> the, s the sentiment I was looking for. Um, but yeah, um, and from a very early age, mm -hmm. I knew it w what was happening, what I wanted to do. I moved to New York um, at age 17. Mm -hmm. And that was 20 years. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, can you tell us a little bit about this next song you're going to play for us? Yeah. Um, I wrote this song for a band that I play with called Puss in Boots. Mm -hmm. And I share that band with uh, Nora Jones and a great bassist singer, Catherine Popper. Mm -hmm. And um, and Daria also plays in that band sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this song was on our uh, first and Rec our, blah, 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 our most recent uh, release, uh, what's that album called? No Fools, No Fun. <laughs> this is called You'll Forget Me. I think this is the first time I've spoken to anyone today. So. <laughs> <laughs> Zero to 1,000. Hello. You'll Forget Me.
Thank you very much. <clears throat> that was great. Um, so I'm curious, you know, your work with various projects, it kind of spans a lot of different genres. Yeah. Um, when, what's your writing process? Like, you know, when you write a song, do you have it in mind for a particular project or does it kind of, do you see what fits with what? I wish that I could say I were a writer like Pat Irwin, who is a great multi-instrumentalist Daria mm -hmm. and I play with, um, but I'm not. I mean, I, I normally just, I love music, and I play drums, I play guitar, a little bit of piano, mostly guitar and drums, and I just like to sit with an instrument. I think because singing is my first mm -hmm. channel, that whatever I'm tinkering with, I, um, I immediately explore vocally or, mm -hmm. you know, so generally um, with songwriting, it starts with a melody idea. And then because I'm a singer, it's like whatever feeling I get from the melody that I'm coming up with, mm -hmm. then maybe a lyric idea comes. That's kind of how it goes. But my thing's so haphazard because I'm involved in a number of different projects. Right. And so, uh, you know, I'm just kind of going with it, I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I were one of those prolific songwriters, you know what I mean? Like, day in and day out, but mm -hmm. just anything. Well, you guys anything. have one more uh, for us, and you're going to play a new single for us that's coming out. Um, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I've been working on this new project that I'm fortunately going to be releasing a single to soon, and um, it's all this music that I've written is based on this drum machine that I inherited from my grandfather last year. Oh, wow. And we call it Grandpa. It was actually <laughs> my grandfather's drum machine, and he was a very interesting multi-instrumentalist, mostly Cordovox. Mm -hmm. And so this, was the this song is called Unchained, and it's the first song that we recorded with Grandpa. Mm -hmm. cool. So we're going to give it a try. <laughs> Jeez. I forgot what's... You think? Yeah. I always forget the setting because it's an analog drum machine. <laughs> anyway.
Awesome. Um, so before we let you go, uh, do you want to let people know where they can next catch you live? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm playing at Pete's Candy Store April 13th, and I'm going to be uh, uh, supporting a bill March 15th um, at Rockwood Stage 3. You can catch me on Facebook and Instagram, cool. Sasha Dobson. Perfect. Well, yeah. thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks we so really much for having us. It. Yeah. Super fun. It was great. Yeah, come back yeah. anytime. Thank you.